Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is June 1st of the June Legal Day Challenge. So first day, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Today, I went 6 miles, not or 10K, uh, not too much, but at a faster speed than I have this year in general, at least after the injury. So uh, I feel like it's weird because I feel like my heart, my heart rate, but, you know, I have a watch, etc. Even though it's not perfect, etc. There's a lot of um, exceptions. But, uh, yeah, not, uh, so my part rate was good, but I think it's one of those things where, like, you're just not used to struggle for a little bit, and then your head's, like, giving you aims. Maybe my legs are a little bit not as uh, strong as I would like, but we'll get back to it. The New York Marathon is coming up. So, yeah. Uh, and those of you who are new to this channel, because it's June, well, welcome to the June channel, uh, or June Need Code video. The reason why I talk about my running and my weightlifting is because, you know, you, you're here because, well, you know, you want someone to do lead code with, and that's great. Uh, and I ideally, I struggle less than you, but I want to share something that uh, I struggle with, or at least working on, right? Uh, it feels like a struggle, though, for sure. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, all right, but without further ado, uh, yeah, and I'm a little bit sad, of course, because my beloved next, you know, I have to wait another year, maybe longer. We'll see. Uh, I don't. I don't want to think about the finals yet, but maybe I'll talk about it another time. Um, you know, but yeah, come back for that. If, you, if that's if you're here for breaking NBA news, then uh, yeah, <laughs> and Larry's expert takes on the NBA. No, no, no. But yeah, okay. Let's take a look at today's bomb. Twenty nine, twenty nine. Distribute candies among children too. Okay, you're given N and limit. Return the total number of ways to distribute N candies amongst three children such that no child get gets more than limit candies. Okay, N is 10 to the 6 and limit is 10 to the 6. Otherwise, you would just write three for loops and you're good. Um, okay, this is kind of a weird one because I feel like a lot of it is going to be... Mm, my, this is just a weird one in general, right? I think it's going to be, uh, there's going to be some comatorics, there's going to be some, some, um, I don't know, uh, case analysis and numeration. I think that's maybe it. I don't know though, but, uh, but yeah, let, let's do the really basic one, right? Which is that if limit times three is greater uh, or is less than N, then we just return zero, right? We don't have enough candies. Uh... Oh, yeah, we have we don't have enough children actually. Sorry, huh? We don't have enough children. We have too much candy. We cannot distribute and candy, right? Okay, so okay, so that is fine. And then what's next? Mm, I wonder. I mean, I think. I mean, so okay, so the the. I mean, the way that I want to write it, and I don't know quite where this goes because I don't know the answer right now, right? Uh, and for those of you who might be new to the channel, this server, this channel is live. Uh, seems like I've solved it before, as you can see, though it's not in cash today. So, but in any case, I don't remember this problem clearly. This is live, so I'm I'm trying to go through my thought process and going through how I would attempt to solve this. You know, because I don't remember. Uh, one thing that I might write is maybe like duh, 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 right. Uh, so you may wait something like this, right, and then we'll. It's not quite an optimization because you wouldn't actually write this, but let's write it out for the sake of this, right? And of course, this is n square, right? Um, and then the one thing that you can do is, of course, maybe you write like, okay, you, you go i plus or i to j or i. Hmm. Maybe, maybe just keep it this way for now, right? And then the other is going to be n minus i minus j, right? So that k is equal to this. And immediately, well, you know, we went from n cubed to n square. Right, and then the question is, um, the question is, and maybe, and you know, you do some if statement with limits, right? Of course, um, and of course, there's i, j, and k in some order. So, yeah, but but that that math is easier. But that's still n squared. That's still gonna be too slow. So, how else can we do it, right? Um, well, can we remove one of? I mean, that's the goal, right? Is that can we remove one more? Maybe convert it even to a log n query or something like that, right? Um. Hmm. I think one thing that I want to do is change the uh, change the language for a second, because that's why I suspected that this is going to require. Because I just want to um, curious why this would not overflow have a mod function, right? Um, okay. So what am I doing? 
Mm. So we want to remove one of these, I mean, and without loss of generality, it doesn't really matter if it's I or J, but let's just say J, right? Okay, let's say we remove J, right? And I is presumably within limit, we'll just add a, you know, we, we go up the limit or whatever, like something like that, it's just maybe off by one, but, but you get the idea. And then now the question is, then now we have one question of how many ways, ways are there to distribute Man, I cannot distribute n minus i candies with limit, right? And then the question is, and that's what I'm trying to figure out, is that is this question easier to answer? Um, or, well, I mean, yeah, can we do it without the for loop, right? That's really uh, what we're doing. When does this limit plus one to get to the limit? Um, and you have to do at least one candy, it seems like, right? Oh, no, no, I don't. It's just that this example, you could do zero. Okay, so then now, okay, how many ways are there to distribute n minus i candy? So can this is equal to n minus i, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is, this we can work out the math. I don't know that there's a formula, but we can work out the math, right? And what I mean by that is that, okay, let's say, uh, and we could create a table, right? If you will, j and k, right? If j is 1, then k has to be n or candies minus one, right? This is, pretend that this is a table. Uh, I'm doing ASCII art today, apparently, but uh, that's fine, right? Can you see that? Well, okay, yeah. And then now, of course, two then is candies minus two, right? And then dot dot dot, right? All the way to to uh, candies minus one, and then one, right? Of course, this assumes that well, we don't have a limit. That what happens if we have a limit, right? Because if this is the case, then we're basically done, right? Because we can just count this. Um, but with limit, then how can we do it? Limit, well, uh, well, okay. If if limit is greater than candies, of course, then we're just done because this is this, right? So maybe we can even write that uh, real quick, right? So candies left is equal to n minus i. So then, um, yeah. Uh, and then total, we add it by... So the, in this way, uh, um, if limit is greater than candies left, then then the number of count of ways is just um, candies minus one, I think, or candies left minus candies left minus one, right? Something like that, is it one? Yeah, because if if candies is two, then it goes just one, and if candies is three, or candies left is three, then you have one and two, right? So yeah, so I think this is right. So else, what happens? Um, well, I think actually I, I'm a little bit imprecise, because even if it's exactly candies left, then that's good, right? Because the most, okay, right? So then otherwise, then what happens? Well, we have one dot 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 all the way to limit. Well, what, what's the other side, right? Well, it's still going to be candies minus one, but not. But we we know, let's just say that this is greater than limit, right? Otherwise, this would also not be. I mean, well, this is some some number, right? Um, so that means that. Um, I don't know if this is quite the right way to explain it. Let, let's go back for a second, right? So we have, we have this, right? And then we know that at some limit, and then we have candies minus limit, um, because, because then that means that by this, <clears throat> and we assume that limit is uh, less than candies, right? So that means that if limit is less than candies, Uh, this math is tricky. Sorry, friends. Uh, I, I'm, I'm bad at math. <laughs> and then you have candies minus limit on the other side, and then limit, right? What I want to say is that because after this, then limit plus one is no good, right? Candies minus limit minus one. Huh? No good, right? Whatever. I mean, I, you could even. Uh, maybe there's a case analysis for this side, but this side is definitely no good. So that means that here. Uh, we up to here is maybe good at least on the limit side, but then on the on the right side it may be too big, right? So then now, uh, and th that's what I was trying to do here, right? Because here, um, on the right side, everything uh, 
um because Kenny's because this may be um wait am, am I saying that right yeah because if, if this is limit then limit plus one is bad right actually no no that's just right right because then now by definition I, I'm really bad at this uh yeah everything after this is off right okay so then, um, and then on the right side for K, we have to figure out where the limits are, right? Can we solve the math? Well, we have um, Kenny's minus some X is going to be um, equal to limit because that's basically how, how we do it. And if this is the case, then you subtract limit on both sides. You subtract X on both sides and you get Kenny's minus limit. So this is the thing, right? So that means that we're trying to find Man, I'm confusing myself because I'm using the same variables over here as well. Um, we know that we cannot go limit. So, okay. I think maybe, okay, I'm struggling a little bit. I think sometimes it's too abstract for me. Uh, and I, I need to do some uh, actual examples, right? So Kenny's we can say maybe, let's say there's 10, right? And limit, we said that it's going to be, say, 6. I mean, it's less than 10, so I say 6. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the left side, right, on the J side. Uh, and then on the K side, you have 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, 6. Oh, I, I did the math wrong. I'm bad at math. Sorry, friends. Uh, <laughs> Something like that, right? And then now we know that the limit is 6, so that means that, as we said, we have to chop off everything after 6. But we also, on the on the left side, we have to chop off everything... Oh, I fit in that. But you get the idea, right? So then, that, what does that mean? That means that, okay, given limit is equal to 6, we actually remove all the ones where limit is... or j is also less than that, right? So then now, we're basically just counting... Um, from candy's minus limit to limit, right? And that's it. I mean, and this could be, yeah, 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 right? So then now, um, total, we add um, candy's minus limit on the, on the beginning side, so limit on the ending side. We will subtract this plus one for inclusion, but this can be negative, so we want to say max of this or zero. Right, because if it's negative, then I mean we shouldn't count negative, um, and that means that we, th it's not possible, right? I think this is. So yeah, so sometimes I mean I get too abstract and I get confused clearly. Um, it's good to use, um, you know, just use an example to kind of visualize it out, uh, and still could be wrong. Uh, oh, oh oh, I didn't do the combinatorial part. That's no, did I? Is that not true? Huh. Okay, let's see. Actually, I thought I did it with the combinatorial part because this is yeah this should be good um okay that's weird but but we can do three times three okay so let's see right so print i total so how many t so zero with the first number when we did already Six. Oh, is this wrong? I mean, this is four. I mean, this formula maybe is wrong. There's three candies left. So there are zero, three. Oh, I forgot about zero. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Because I thought for some reason, I, I know that I created it up, but then I, I as, and you could saw, you see me doing it. I forgot that you could do zero candies. Okay, so that means that I think this is a little bit more precise. But it's still wrong, I think, because that should not add that much. But I think that is, um, yeah, because, so zero means zero, three, one, two, two, one, three, zero. Candies left is three. Oh, no, then it's candies plus one because of the zero. Uh, I probably did this side wrong, too, because I... No, it goes from, maybe, hmm, okay. But yeah, one has three, uh, which is correct. We have three fingies. Two has, oh, 
Um, oh yeah, because you can do zero, so then you can yeah have to be able to do n totally. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, and hopefully this is it. This is kind of a long video for not too crazy of a problem, but uh, yes, I mean it's it's slow. Maybe there's a formula for this, but I just want to show you at the very least. Well, you know how 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 to do it from scratch, if you will. I am curious how I did it last time. Uh, apparently, last time I did it in twenty twenty three. Hmm. Twenty twenty three, I guess I yeah I mean I guess this is the same idea really I and mean, I think here, uh this uh this this degenerates into this if you do the math I think, but um. Or something like that. Huh, but the idea is basically I guess very much the same. Anyway, uh yeah, this is gonna be all of n time. Keep in mind that all of n is not linear in the size of the input. It's just all of n, um. Which is fast enough for this problem, but it's technically exponential in the size of the input because of the number of bits representing the, the input, right? And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. Uh, I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.